coming back at you live, folks. What's going on? Isn't this music perfect for an intro? Because that's exactly what it is. I'm playing some of the library music albums that I bought this weekend. I'm going to talk a little bit about them. I am absolutely loving these records that I've... These library music records. They're just, just what I needed. DeWolf, Music DeWolf. Um, the company was started by the DeWolf family uh, apparently in 1909 and then they started their archiving of sounds in 1927. And um, these records were, are not made for commercial use, but um, literally as an audio library to music service to businesses or whatever. And <clears throat> almost music, a record used record store here in Omaha. He just uh, had a, a person come in with a bunch, and uh, he bought them. And the the prices, excuse me, the price is right on these, so I was able to get a few. And I just have always loved soundtrack music. To be honest, I've always liked television music you know things but some of the incidental music that you hear in scenes because it's, a lot of it is so descriptive and flavorful um in years past i have tapes cassettes where and even on uh vhs where i've recorded parts of shows not because i like the show but because of the music in the background so coming across a cachet of these the wolf Music library albums is just the best. What we're listening to is one called Whirly Gig. And each one of these on the back, they're, it's like they're, they give you this generic um, format because that's what it is. It's a, it's a service. And it describes, each album will describe fairly accurately too. And this album is described as small group jazz influenced moods featuring piano vibes and guitar played by spots and um it's lovely because it's um it's utilitarian music some of the music is uh you know kind of uh flat but on almost every album i've played so far except for a couple i found tunes that really catch my ear you know in the way that TV and music and film music has always done so at times. And that's what I listen for, you know. And not all films will have that incidental music I like, but a lot do. And so this is one. I was playing this earlier. I'm gonna put my peepers on so I can see better. Big City Story. It appears that the majority of what I got are albums from the early, like early 1970, 1971, but they started to, to archive this uh, stuff back in the 60s on album. And I've discovered that I like Reg Tilsey. This is Reg Tilsey um, with the London Big Sound, Big City Story. Kind of like James Bond mu music. I like this one. Oh, and this one is excellent. A Day in the Life of. Isn't that a cool ass cover? And it's descriptive. The music has kind of a. You know, I don't want to play too much because I don't know if I'm going to have a copyright issue with this stuff or not. This is really cool. It's got the jazzy, but it's got the modern, contemporary, modern sound. Oh, it's like. I think of like Moo, uh, Moondog. Yeah, that's who the, I was thinking of, Moondog. One of the more light albums. And hold on a second now. Let me just set this up so I can. Okay. I'm go forward on this one. Here's another good one. We'll just pass that one. Monopoly. Monopoly. This one is described, well, it's just International Studio Orchestra, but it goes through a series of um, descriptive moods, king size, sun glaze, Spanish playground, springboard, work tools, 
and I really really like this one. Big band, big orchestra, but with this jazz thing, kind of again, I think of um, maybe Gil Evans, David Axelrod. There's probably people closer to it. Okay, the spinning like like a top is one I have to come back to. I didn't think that one was very good. Showed that one already. Here's another jazzy one that's really good. Freestyle. Modern orchestral pieces for sports, titles, action, etc. The Wolf. I like the I like a lot of this one a lot. And it's all instrumental, which I love. I love. Ruffle. This one is killer. Ruffle. Um, small jazz group uh, situation. Punchy small group mellow jazz guitars. I love this one. Ruffle. And, and the covers. Did I show this? Pulses? I think I might have. This one is 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 okay. There's some really good ones. Here's one of the really good ones. TV Suite. I have number TV Suite one and number three so far. I hopefully can get number two. And um, man, <laughs> just up my alley, just right up my alley. This one is cool because it is what it is: calls, fillers, and signs. So it's like little eight second, um, like played on keyboards, little, um, da da da, you know, stuff like that. Calls, fillers, and signs. What a cool album to have in the library. Shifting Shades. Nice. Played this earlier. Sound Waves Part Two, and the cover is 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 correct. Unusual, unusual group sounds featuring electronic keyboards, played by Astral Sounds. This is a good one. Not cheesy. This is good. Even though these records were not made commercially available, just like I just now found this bunch of them they it, they are available i see that they're all on discogs that's how i found out more about them now this one which has a super cool cover the music is nothing like the cover nightclub small group music with a jazzy flavor it's got a jazzy flavor but the, the little bit i played so far of this is very very oink not like the cover at all but a great cover look at that cover this one comes through cover and music musical prisms very apt description of this album musical prisms some of the titles towards zero hour the statues of easter island man's conquest of space very descriptive of the music on here yeah 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 really tickling my uh, vinyl funny bone with these Music for Strings, Synthesis. Mm-hmm. Here's another winner. Absolutely. The cover says it. Haven't got to this one yet. Mood Impressions. Yeah, um, and, and Brad, who is such a, a fine guy, he cut me a deal because, as you see, I bought several. And he, 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 hacked, he hacked it way down. That's so nice of him. This is music for tuned percussion. Look at that cover. I did I show this already. I'm showing it again. Double album. I've only just scratched the surface of this one. But uh, this is excellent. I haven't played this one. Knock onward. Large modern orchestral pieces with synthesized variations. So that sounds interesting. Another one I haven't played yet, Life Story. Love that cover. Played this, 
This is fantastic. Airwaves, large modern orchestral sounds with synthesized variations. Bingo. Airwaves. This one is excellent for my taste. This is a great find. Kevin Peake, who played in the band Sky with John Williams and Francis Monkman from Kevin Curved Air. I knew that he worked in the music service business and here's one of his albums that he made for DeWolf. To the Limit, the Kevin Peake experience. I haven't played it yet, but nice find. I don't think I would have ever find, found this otherwise. And I do have one of Kevin Peake's other solo albums. Looking forward to this, another Reg Tilsley orchestral album. I've played two so far and they've both been excellent. Dynamite. Another I haven't gotten to yet. Sept September Preludes Symphoniques 7 Symphonic Pre Oh, Sept. Okay, that's, sorry. It's French. Seven Symphonic Preludes. Another great cover. This one I'm looking forward to. Sequoia Flamen was mentioning how he liked this cover. Was and he wants to know what I think when I get to this. The world of percussion and tuned percussion. Look at that cool ass cover. You know, and it's like what I love about stuff like this is I mean I'm really interested in the music, getting a lot of great music, and. It's virtually ignored by everyone else, you know. No one's looking at these records. This one is good viewpoint. Um, music for industry, prestige, jazzy, big and brassy, really good. Got a few more. Haven't got to this one yet. Return to bass, but this is described as jazz, light jazz. Return to Bass. Another great cover. Looking forward to it. Natural Break. Modern Pop Sounds. All, all these are all, most of these are 180 gram um, pressed in the UK or in, in yeah, pressed in Britain. Reg Tilsley interprets Pierre Arve. Looking forward to hearing this. Haven't played this yet. And then I played this, live, Live Free. Yeah. What does it say? Easygoing, small group sounds with accent on melody. Right up my alley. I love sweet melody. And as I was saying, I have this other, um, I have TV Suite number three. And I have the first TV Suite. I'm hoping that Brad has number two. So I didn't. I didn't see all the. Uh, I had to stop. And then the last one I bought was Altitude. I haven't played this yet. I haven't played this yet. But uh, this is real happy additions to the collection. Um, person that asked, who might be a new viewer, I don't know, asked. If I was on a cover of a magazine, well, yeah, this poster here, that's a local magazine encounter that's out this month. It's a um, small, uh, you could say it's like a ad magazine, comes out bi-monthly, bi every two months, and it features, um, you know, local artists, entertainers, uh, spotlights on... Uh, like a restaurant or something, and I'm on this this current issue's cover with my upcoming album Murphy. Um, until I run out, every order of the album also gets a uh, copy of the uh, magazine. And um, my test pressing is at the FedEx. I just saw with the tracking that it's it has arrived at the FedEx stop in Omaha so uh, it's on schedule to be uh, delivered tomorrow looking forward to making that video hopefully you know because um, 
I have had to repress one album. I can't afford to repress Murphy, to be honest, and so hoping all goes, hoping everything is fine, as it well should be. But I wanted to share with you the library music records, uh, DeWolf Music. Love it. 